In the field of automobiles, electric propulsion no longer surprises anyone. It may rather surprise its evolution towards high-performance models and the scale of the phenomenon, but there are industries in which it did not seem to have an applicable future due to the sensitivity to the total weight of the vehicles in relation to the kilograms occupied by the batteries of an electric propulsion system of this total weight. In other words, an electric truck needs to carry as much payload as possible, not its own batteries. A ship must have buoyancy and be able to carry cargo, not its own batteries. And in the case of airplanes, the subject is even more sensitive because it is about lift and much less kilograms as a payload compared to the mass and dimensions of an airplane. And yet, we now come to see the first flight of the first Rolls-Royce electric plane. And when we talk about Rolls-Royce in the field of aviation, we must specify from the beginning that it is a completely different company from Rolls-Royce Motorcars, the car manufacturer. They have common origins in history, but today, Rolls-Royce is one of the largest manufacturers of aircraft engines in the world, along with many other components for aeronautics and other related industries. So, we are talking about the leading aeronautics company. Rolls-Royce managed to create a first lightweight electric aircraft in partnership with a company that built the fuselage structure. The electric plane is called Spirit of Innovation, also called Excel, after the name of the project, and is currently a prototype which has been worked on since 2019. It has a propulsion system of 543 horsepower, and its first flight took place recently on September 15, 2021 at 2.56 in the afternoon, British summertime. The plane took off from the Boscombe Down Air Base of the United Kingdom Ministry of Defense. His first flight lasted about 15 minutes. The small plane, 7 meters long, can reach up to 480 kilometers an hour, but in its first flight, it was a little more modest in testing the limits. Later, however, Rolls-Royce intends to reach a world record for the fastest aircraft in this segment. And now, if you've gotten this far, you're probably intrigued to the engineering substrate of this aircraft. What propulsion system it has, what batteries, what imperfections it has, and maybe what sort of future we'll be able to see in terms of electric planes. Well, because we're all just as intrigued, we couldn't skip this part, so we dug a little deeper. The plane is one with a sports chassis, which in its case involves a low weight class and a very rigid torsional structure made of lightweight materials, including carbon fiber. The body of the plane with an almost identical structure is currently used in a race plane, Sharp Nemesis. That racing aircraft is one with traditional propulsion with an engine of 350 horsepower and can reach a speed of 522 kilometers per hour with its conventional engine. It's also a light one, with a maximum allowable takeoff weight, aircraft plus payload, of 1,200 kilograms. In the case of the electric plane, the terms of the equation are different, but the final result in kilograms had to be less than or equal to, and definitely not greater. So, Rolls-Royce mounted the highest density battery in the world on this single-seat plane. It has 6,000 cells positioned as compact as possible, but at the same time, the battery is designed to house an advanced cooling system which protects it in case of maximum stress for long periods. The battery has a capacity to deliver 500 kilowatts of power at the same time in constant mode and for short periods of up to 750 kilowatts. This means that the engine or engines can have a maximum power of 500 kilowatts in rated mode and 750 kilowatts in boost mode, or as we often say, the power of electric propulsion systems is not limited by the ability of engineers to design a more powerful electric motor, but by the ability of a battery to provide it with a sufficient flow of energy. Rolls-Royce does not announce how many kilowatt hours of capacity the battery has, but they say it can provide a range of 200 miles to the plane, which would be about 320 kilometers, enough for a flight between London and Paris. The plane's propeller is powered by three axial electric motors. Compared to a normal aircraft, the propeller has considerably lower operating speeds of about 2,400 RPM, which would allow it to be more stable and quieter. Rolls-Royce says that these engines can deliver 90% energy efficiency and gives the comparative example of a Formula One car, which has an energy efficiency of only 50%. The engineers managed to keep the weight of the plane plus batteries at the same kilograms as the conventional plane on which Excel is based, so up to 1,200 kilograms total allowable flight mass. The difference is that on normal planes with the flight and burning of fossil fuels, the landing mass is smaller. Well, here, we can say that the landing mass will be equal. The first flight of this electric plane took place successfully. It lasted only 15 minutes, not seeing any top speeds or records broken, but they will come on the next flights. For now, it was important to prove that the plane could be flown and that it was safe with the entire electric propulsion system. We will certainly be following this and other fascinating news about the plane. 
We were wondering how applicable the electric propulsion will become one day for more ordinary planes, with more passengers on board. Then we found out that Rolls-Royce already has a contract with the airline Wide Row, the largest regional carrier in the Scandinavian region, and that contract involves the design and delivery of a first model electric plane with enough seats on board to be compatible with the regional flight segment. That future aircraft will use much of Excel's propulsion system, probably adapted to a larger scale and would be ready in 2026. So in just five years, we might hear about flight races and regular flights operated by electric planes. That was about Rolls-Royce. If you liked it, don't forget to ring that bell, like the video, and write a comment about what you would like to see next on our channel. Bye-bye.